Hello, today's video we have the following content. Jala Lines Traveling with the Phoenix received negative reviews when it first aired, and the reasons for the negative reviews were surprisingly consistent. The mystery of Traveling with the Phoenix has been opened. I thought that this drama could break the embarrassing situation of ancient puppet fairy dramas, but I didn't expect that it received negative reviews when it first aired. The audience's reasons for negative reviews were surprisingly consistent. What happened? The plot is too watery and the special effects are awkward. Walking with the Phoenix tells the story of Shen Li, played by Zhao Lin, the king of Bikang in the spiritual world, who hid in the mortal world in order to escape from marriage and accidentally met the ancient god Zingzi, played by Lin Zhengxin, who was traveling in the human world. Understand love and responsibility. Most of the ancient puppet dramas in the past had rich plots and ups and downs. For example, in The Legend of Sword and Fairy, the emotional line was just a side dish, and the plot line was the staple. However, it seems that the current ancient puppet dramas have no serious content other than watching the male and female protagonists fall in love. The plot of Traveling with the Phoenix is seriously watered down. In the first two episodes, just watching Zing Zhi making jokes with a pheasant, I didn't even know what the point was after playing it for a long time. Although Shen Li later returned to her human form, her daily life with Zing Zhi H.I. consisted of eating and quarreling. The expansion of the emotional line between two people can be described in one word, vulgar and unbearable. After the male protagonist cooked two meals, the female protagonist couldn't live without each other. What's the matter, the spirit world is so poor that they can't afford to eat. What's the difference between this and Song Yan seducing Su Kin away with a bowl of porridge? It can be seen that the director intends to use the female A and male O setting to retain the audience's attention, but it still cannot do without the core of Mary Sue, just swapping the identities of men and women. When the male protagonist gently called Shen Li, it's time to eat, the female protagonist felt that this man meant something different to her. No one had ever called her that. You are so hungry. Not only that, the drama also attempts to have a dream linkage with the legend of Chu Kiao. The female protagonist goes to fish the male protagonist in the lake, which can be regarded as fulfilling the regret of the drama fans back then. But what's going on with this special effect? Can it be more fake? The most important thing about the fairy tale theme is the special effects, but the various big scenes of this drama are as inferior and rough as a web game. The heroine's fight scene seemed like she had fallen into a drum washing machine, spinning it several times without causing any damage. It was too gaudy and embarrassing to watch. Also, the back of this dress is hooked, and it feels cheap. I don't know what the money saved was used for. Anyway, I didn't see the quality of big production in the whole drama. It can be said that Walking with the Phoenix has once again lowered the popularity of ancient puppet fairy tales. Both the plot and special effects are unsatisfactory. What dissuades the audience the most is the performance of the actors. Zha Lin and Lin Jenksing cannot sustain it. Full stop. The filter is too heavy and the acting skills stretch my hips. I believe that many people, like me, came to the drama because of the pairing of Zhao Lin and Lin Jenkson. The two had a wonderful chemical reaction in The Legend of Chu Kiao and became another difficult couple in Chinese dramas. Flat CP. But seven years have passed since this drama was played. Now both actors are 36 years old. They are still playing ancient puppets at a very young age. Their appearance has deteriorated and their acting skills have not improved. Can they still take the role? Look first. Zhao Lin. Her performance in this drama can be summed up in one word, dumbfounded. Facing the pursuit of her own race, she showed no emotion at all. Even when fighting, she kept a straight face, as if she was a dummy put in by P later. Moreover, this state is not consistent with the character of the talkative Shen Li, resulting in a particularly severe sense of separation between the front and back of the character. To put it bluntly, Zhao Lin just didn't get into the role. A large number of her roles were neither salty nor bland, and she wasn't even as spirited as her original character. For example, Shen Li discovered that Zing Zhi's formation suppressed his spiritual energy, which should have been the most hilarious scene. As a result, looking at Zhao Lin, there was no anger, anger or other emotions in her eyes. She only read her lines mechanically, and she was stunned that this good show was in vain. In addition, the skin microdermabrasion in this drama is too heavy and the skin has no blood color. But such a heavy filter couldn't cover Zhao Lian's heavy makeup. Her eye shadow was too heavy, as if she had been punched by someone. However, the actor who needs beauty the most is probably the male Li Lin Jenkson. The behavior he plays does not look like the temperament of an ancient god at all. He is big and round, with a fat head and big ears, 
and he does not look like a sick man character. Although the teacher worked very hard to deal with the wrinkles on his face in the later period, it seemed that he used too much force, causing his face to look shiny and oily, and he looked more and more like a pig gang hyena. Sometimes it's hard to be honest. No matter how thick the filter is, it can't hide Lynn Jenkins' middle-aged look. Once his expression becomes more exaggerated, the crow's feet at the corners of his eyes are still clearly visible, and he has long lost his UNIU charm. Moreover, this dubbing does not match Lynn Jenkson at all. It is clearly a Northeastern dialect, but the voice is as gentle as Jade, which makes people feel uncomfortable. Since we want to make Zingzi H.I. a funny man, it is better to let Lynn Jenkson use his own original lines. At least it will be more realistic and can make up for his acting skills that have not improved in more than 10 years. The higher the expectations, the greater the disappointment. Traveling with the Phoenix did not make a big move, but gave the audience a big surprise. If you think about it carefully, this drama has trampled all the minefields of bad ancient puppet dramas nowadays. One is that the plot is watery and the pace is slow. After watching four episodes, the main content has not been advanced at all. The running story is fresh and refreshing, but I am not optimistic about retaining the audience for a long time. The second is that the special effects are too poor and the texture is cheap. If a fairy tale drama cannot rely on its graphics to win, then the chance of winning word of mouth will be greatly reduced. The quality of this drama is no better than that of web games. There are many 50 cent scenes, which hurt the eyes of the audience. The third reason is that the actor cannot stand still. Although the duo of Lin Jenkson and Shao Liying has some gimmicks, their acting skills are both mediocre and look like they are just going through the motions. Moreover, when people reach middle age, no matter how many filters and beautifications they have, they cannot support the subject matter, so it is better not to touch ancient puppet dramas. After all, both Zhao Liying and Lin Jenkson have entered a period of transition. One is an 85-year-old who has bravely entered the film industry, and the other is an 85-year-old and has taken root in modern dramas. Acting in ancient puppets will be more or less controversial based on their age alone. It can be said that the two perform once and less. I happen to be both 36 years old, but if you round up, you are still acting as an ancient puppet when you are nearly 40 years old. So how did the two older star and actors perform in Traveling with the Phoenix? Let's take a look at the premiere effect. Walking with the Phoenix is adapted from the online romance novel The King is Here. It tells the love story between Shen Li, the Bikang King in the spiritual world, and the ancient god Zing Zhi. Zhao Liying and Lin Jenkson play Shen Li and Zing Zhi respectively. From Walking with the Phoenix based on the feedback from the premiere, the current plot is still very faithful to the original work. The process of the original work Shen Li and Zing Zhi meeting and falling in love in the human world is filmed almost one to one. The beginning is when Shen Li, played by Zhao Liying, escapes from marriage and is knocked down into the world. Just restoring the original work does not mean that the plot is excellent. Audiences who often read online romance novels should feel this. These novels do not pursue literary quality at all. They always make up the word count in superficial plot. After being adapted into film and television dramas, it is easy for the audience to feel boring. Walking with the Phoenix received bad reviews because of this. Although Traveling with the Phoenix has been updated for several consecutive episodes, there is basically no plot advancement. The key information is only that the heroine escaped from marriage and met the hero's crush on him. The rest of the time is full of gags and jokes between the male and female protagonists. In the past, it was interesting to watch it once, but I reluctantly accepted it after watching it twice. The third, fourth, and fifth times, the audience directly gave it a one-star negative review saying that the plot was too childish. Not only that, but the plot, which is passable in a romance novel, becomes even more embarrassing in a TV series when it is performed by two actors whose combined age is 80 years younger. In particular, the moment when the male and female protagonists' hearts flutter with each other is too ordinary for viewers who have watched a lot of ancient puppet shows. Comma the female protagonist is always called Prince by others, because her heart is moved when the male protagonist calls her by her real name for dinner. Comma when the male protagonist saw the female protagonist eating meat without caring about it, his eyes were immediately pricked. It's hard for people to resonate with such a primary school student's heartbeat. Naturally, they won't be able to sympathize with the protagonist, let alone get into the drama. Of course, for an ancient puppet drama, the plot is more of an icing on the cake. The worst thing is that the male and female protagonists have no sense of CP. Zhao Liying and Lin Jenkson overturned this time. 
Some netizens bluntly said that the male and female protagonists of Traveling with the Phoenix there doesn't seem to be much emotion at all. In addition, another point that must be mentioned is that Zhao Lin and Lin Jenkson are both old. It is difficult for both of them to hide their age. Once the lighting is not careful, the true state will be exposed. For example, when the light dims, Zhao Lin's face will become much shriveled, with traces of collagen loss everywhere. Lin Jenkson has no fairy spirit at all. His role is Shenzhen Zing's he is said to be a sickly man. However, Lin Jenkson is a simple and honest middle-aged man from body shape to body shape. In some scenes, his face is even shiny. How can he feel sick and weak? What's even more embarrassing is that in order to cover up Zhao Lin and Lin Jenkson's sense of age, the whole drama has a strong sense of late stage. Sometimes the outlines of the characters' faces are blurred, and sometimes the soft light is enhanced to create a bathhouse filter. This happens more often in Lin Jenkson, even when he was in the same frame as Zhao Lin, the filter was heavier for Lin Jenkson. In the case of a childish plot, the male and female protagonists look very young at first glance, which is simply adding insult to injury. There is also a plot that pays homage to the legend of Chu Qiao and traveling with the phoenix, arranging for the male protagonist to fall into the water and let the female protagonist save him. Get up and connect it with the ending of the legend of Chu Qiao where Yu Wenai falls into the ice lake. It's a pity that things have changed. Just linking up with the legend of Chu Qiao cannot save the reputation of traveling with the phoenix for its premiere. The two dramas were also broadcast on Hunan Satellite TV. The ratings of The Legend of Chu Qiao that year were 1.741%. Walking with the Phoenix, which had a lot of fanfare before its release, received mediocre ratings. According to rating statistics, the highest ratings of Walking with the Phoenix during its premiere was only 0.6494%. There were many ratings fluctuations throughout the show, and it was obvious that it could not retain viewers. From the drama itself to the status of the actors, it can be predicted that traveling with Fang will be difficult to achieve the same glory as the legend of Chu Qiao. To a certain extent. However, the show has only been updated for four episodes. Maybe it will get better as the subsequent story unfolds. Let's wait and see. I wonder if you are still willing to continue following this drama?